Hundreds stand in line for limited edition sneakers. Today is Friday, May 31st, and this is 570 News on the Go, brought to you in part by NorthCentralPA.com. Sunny today, a high in the low 70s. A man from Bronx, New York, has been indicted by a federal grand jury on bank fraud and aggravated identity theft charges. 62-year-old Jose Rodriguez allegedly used fake identification to withdraw an attempt to withdraw roughly $50,000 from customer accounts at multiple banks in Lycoming, Tioga, and Center Counties. The maximum penalty under federal law for the bank fraud offense is 30 years in prison. A man who passed fake $20 bills throughout central Pennsylvania has been sentenced. Penn Live reports 27-year-old Dajon Smart of Brooklyn will serve 27 months in federal prison. His co-defendant, 21-year-old Eli Lewis Jr. of Sealands Grove, pleaded guilty to the same charges. The two would purchase a small item using the fake 20s and then make larger transactions for prepaid debit cards on their cell phones using counterfeit $10 Federal Reserve notes. The fake bills were passed at sheets near Sealands Grove, Dollar General in Shemokin, and another Dollar General in Snyder County. A second person charged in part of a child predator sting operation has entered a plea in federal court. 33-year-old Christopher Crispin pleaded guilty to one count of attempted enticement of a minor and faces a mandatory minimum of 10 years in prison. Crispin is accused of sending a series of messages to an undercover officer posing as a 15-year-old boy and arranging to meet the boy for sex. He was one of four men charged in November as part of the investigation led by the FBI, as well as center in Lycoming County law enforcement. A blighted property in Williamsport's West End will soon be back on the tax rolls. DuraClean and ServPro will gut the home at 2169 Mosser Avenue in preparation for the contractor to complete the renovation. The home is located in a residential section of Newberry and was involved in a structure fire in 2018. Senator Bob Casey was in Lock Haven yesterday to present $1 million in funding for a new police department building. The Lock Haven Police Department is the only 24-hour police service in Clinton County. The $1 million grant for the $2.6 million project will help reduce the burden on taxpayers. Construction on the new building is expected to begin in the spring of 2025. The State House Judiciary Committee is looking at possible legislation that would impose a maximum penalty of 50 years for a conviction of second-degree murder with lesser penalties for minors charged as adults. Currently, Pennsylvania's mandatory life sentence without parole is among the harshest in the country. A line stretched several blocks in Philly on Thursday as consumers waited for hours to buy the limited-edition Philly-themed Nike Dunks. The kicks feature Kelly Green laces with geographic coordinates of Philadelphia, The shoes retail at $135. And if you attend tonight's Shikolemi High School graduation, don't be alarmed if you see double. The Daily Item reports eight sets of twins will be graduating. The Shikolemi class of 2024 graduation is at 7 o'clock tonight. For the latest in news and events, head on over to northcentralpa.com. I'm Liz Brady, and you're up to date with 570 News on the Go.